In this video, I'll be going over every social link in Persona 3 Fez and how to start them. There'll be minor spoilers as I talk about specific names, places, and things you'll need to do. If you want a spoiler free guide, goes to link, going over general strategy and how they work, see the previous video. Some of these social links also require social stat requirements. And if you want to see how to quickly and effectively level those up, you can also check out the video in the top right. This could be pretty dry if I just listed out where they are, how to find them, how to start them, without like giving my two cents on the social links. Because then it would just be me reading off a wiki. So I'm going to give my two cents about the social links from a gameplay perspective. I, I'd love to one day make a video talking about the writing and make a tier list of which ones I enjoy more than others. But for today, we're just going to be focusing on the gameplay side of it and avoiding as much story, <laughs> sto story spoilers as possible. So we'll be going in order of when they're available to start because that just makes the most sense for this. First up is Team C's or the Fool Social Link. C's is the name of your party. This social link starts on April 18th and it automatically progresses through the story. Not much to say here, as I'm trying to avoid spoilers, obviously. But one thing I will say is that if you have not finished the social link, if it has not maxed out, the story is not over. Uh, at one point, you will have to make a big, big, big decision with an obvious answer. If you choose the wrong answer, the game ends with the bad ending prematurely. If you pick the right answer, the game continues on for another couple of months. So just save before you have to make the big decision. And you've got a 50-50 chance even if you are completely unsure of what to do. It should be pretty obvious. But, or if you just want to see what the bad ending is. Oh boy, Kenji or the Magician social link. Not my favorite from a narrative standpoint. <laughs> uh, he starts on April 22nd. You won't, you'll know because he's the tutorial on social links. So you'll be forced to hang out with him that day. He's available on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. He's pretty easy to rank up with his, the points between each rank being a bit lower than some of the other social links. Uh, despite my mixed feelings on his social link from a story perspective on a gameplay level his personas can actually be pretty useful early on with the earliest persona of his arcana being Nekomata at level 5 and Jack Frost is at level 8 being the second and those are two personas that you can make before the first boss so having a few ranks in his social link is kind of useful there he also has the earliest ultimate persona of Cert at level 50, which is pretty nice. The Gourmet King or Moon social link. I, boy, we're really striking out on good social links here from a narrative standpoint. Probably the worst from a narrative standpoint, uh, like out of any social link that I've ever played so far. Uh, he's available from the start. But you're gonna need level two charm if you actually hang out with him. He can be found at Polonia Mall. He's gonna ask you some food trivia. The, the answers are gonna be coffee, green, a curry bowl, and then he's going to ask for some weird food. What he wants is an odd morsel from Tartarus. This can be easily found at any level of Tartarus just by picking up some of those briefcase treasure chest things lying around. You're probably going to be overflowing with them because they're yeah, not great to use, but uh, they are abundant. And then the lowest level persona of his arcana is at uh, level 15 with Gur. There's also two more social links, these being both the knight social links that are available from the start of the game, but require some social stats, so we'll also go over those in a minute. First up being Mutsatsu, the tower social link. He's available at the start of the game, like I said, but he's gonna require level two courage. 
talk to him. He'll ask for a drink. Talk to the barkeeper. He'll say, yeah, I'll get you the drink. But help me out here. Do a little unpaid labor for me. Go ask what everybody else around the bar wants and let me know. I will just tell you the answer so you don't have to remember. The answers are going to be Bloody Mary, Margarita, Screwdriver, and Oolong. Then go back upstairs, talk to him, and let him know that you got him his alcohol, and you can start hanging out with him. The lowest level persona for him is level 31 Elagor. That's going to take a while to get to, but again, you need level 2 Courage to at least start it, so it's going to take... Actually, level 2 Courage doesn't take that long, but you can hang out with him regardless. As long as you have nothing better to do at night, like maxing out your social stats or anything because it doesn't take too long and there's only two social links at night you can do anyway so speaking of which the other social link is president tanaka of the devil arcano this is the guy that runs the sunday shopping channel that you can buy stuff from it's available from the start but it's going to require level four charm and he's also going to ask you for money well, he's gonna scam you out of money. He's gonna scam you out of a total of 40,000 yen over the course of three nights. Uh, once you keep talking, just keep talking to him and eventually you'll be like, dude, what are you doing? I'm scamming you out of your money. Stop trying to give money to me. And uh, the social link will start at that point. He's the only one that ranks up just by talking. Personas and points don't really matter. He's not gonna listen to you anyway. He's very self-centered that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah alright now that we've got those ones that are available from the start out of the way let's start getting into some of the ones that turn up later first up is Kazushi of the Chariot Arcana he's going to be available starting on April 23rd you're going to be asked to join a sports club like you'll have the opportunity to doesn't matter which you have the option of Kendo which is fencing, like Japanese fencing. You have the option of basketball, which is like, you know, basketball. And then you also have running, which is like, you know, running. Doesn't matter which, but I prefer the running club. It just makes more sense, I think, in context of some of the stuff that goes on in that social link and some of the other stuff surrounding it. But again, it doesn't matter. It just changes his, uh, like, his jersey or whatever that he wears and like, some of the cutscenes. That Arcana is filled with mostly physical personas, which is all right. It's decent. It's not my favorite in Persona 3. Uh, you tend to want things that have a lot of magic coverage or a lot of do a lot of magic damage just because that's more reliable and it doesn't take away from your HP like physical does but it can be pretty useful early on because you're not gonna have a lot of sp at the start and hp items are super easy to come by compared to sp items so the lowest level persona for this social link is ari matama at level six next up is the old couple or the hierophant they're available starting on April 25th on Monday through Saturday. You're going to want to talk to them. They'll mention a tree at the school. The tree can be found on the ground floor between the main building and the outer activities building, which is where the sports clubs are held and everything. Grab one of the leaves off the tree, go back and talk to them. You can do this in the same day and you can start their social link. They're the first social link that is available during school holidays. So it's probably worth holding off on them unless you have nobody else to hang out with that day. Because during summer and spring break and any other sort of like school holiday, they will be available. So, good for that. The lowest level persona is Omio Kane at level 7 for that arcana. Hidetoshi is the Emperor Social Link. He's available on April, starting at April 27th. Mitsuru will ask you a favor and ask you to join the student council. 
to go to the staff room across from the library and tell Miss Toriyumi, your homeroom teacher, that you want to join. He's available on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And after January 25th, he's available every day past that. He's not my favorite social link. Uh, the quote-unquote best answers aren't things I like saying, but it's whatever, I guess. The lowest level persona for him is Fornius at level 7. Next up is Yuko of the Strength Arcana. So it's, it's not a set date of when she's available, but the earliest you can access her is on April 29th. This is because she's a side character of Kazushi's social link. After rank 2, you will see her as you're leaving for the day. Invite her to like walk home with you. She'll say no that time, and then she'll be I'm properly available after rank three of Kazushi's social link. She's the first dateable girl that you can get access to in the game. She's available on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and the lowest level persona is Valkyrie at level 13. Next up is Maya, or the Hermit social link. She is available on April 29th on Sundays and school holidays. So because she's available only on Sundays, usually, her point requirements are pretty low. So if you actually work on her during, like, spring or summer break, you can get through a lot of her social link pretty quick. Uh, on the 29th, Junpei will give you a copy of an MMO that is a reference to Persona 2. And then you can play that game and meet Maya from the laptop in your room. There's actually a talking head sprite for Maya in the game. However, it's just the silhouette of the character because it immediately gives away who it is because it's a side character that you see fairly often in the game. And it's eventually revealed that's who Maya is in the social link. But the talking head really is just their silhouette. And it's really freaking obvious who it is. So... Uh, the developers must have agreed because they didn't use it. <laughs> While a woman, she doesn't count as a dateable one. So other girls won't get mad at you if you hang out with her too much. And you can't go on dates with her. The lowest level persona for this social link is level 9. Um, Yamotsu Tomi. I'm going to choose to pronounce that. The Death Social Link is another story-related one. So I'm not really going to get much into it. It's going to start June 12th. Again, the only thing really worth noting about it is... Even if the person says goodbye forever... The Social Link's not done till it's done, baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you kind of know that you're going to see them again. Jiro is next up, and she is available starting May 28th on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. You're going to need a rank in Hitotoshi Social Link, as she's a part of Student Council, so you'll meet her in the first rank. You're going to have to talk to her over the course of a couple of days, and you can start doing this before she even becomes available. So if you plan it out right... You're going to want to start talking to her on the 25th. And then that way, you'll be able to start her social link as soon as possible. So you're going to talk to her, and she's going to say some things. And the correct responses are, I want to talk, I mail, hello, and let's walk home together. Hopefully that makes more sense in context. <laughs> uh, she is also dateable. And the lowest level persona for her is level 4 angel. Mako, or Maiko, or however you pronounce that, is the hanged man social link. She's available every day starting on May 10th. She's another social link that can be accessed on school holidays. Talk to her. And then... When you want to start a social link, bring her a Mad Bull from a vending machine and the Takeyoki from Octopia. Note that the first time you talk to her and she asks for this stuff, if you bring it to her that same day, for whatever reason, you cannot start her social link in the same day. 
Like you can with the old couple. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So just keep that in mind. Uh, her lowest level persona is Long Dog at level 10. Baby is the uh, Temperance social link. He is available starting May 29th on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You can technically meet him earlier as you're going to need a rank 3 in the old couple social link to start it. As he, you will meet him then. However, you'll need to wait till the 29th of May to actually start the social link. You're also going to need level 2 academics to translate the note on the outside the home economics room. And the lowest level persona for him is level 12 Niggy Midama. Yeah. I'm sure that got pronounced horribly. Case. <laughs> KSK is the fortune social link. He's available on June 17th on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You're going to have to join an art club the same as you did with the sports club. There's a couple of options. I think it's just the painting club and the music club. Having gone through both, I think the Art club makes more sense again for the social link, but if you are a band kid, go ahead and pick the music one. It doesn't make a lick of difference, really. Anyway, this social link has my favorite ultimate persona and just generally favorite persona, Norn. I just like the way she looks, and she's so good. Like, you don't even need to build her at all. She gets mind charge which allows you to do like twice the amount of damage with the next magic attack you do. She also gets Patnarea, which is the strongest wind. She easily gets both wind boost and amp, which ups her damage by another 75% with wind skills from personas earlier on, like lower level personas of the same arcana. And she gets an immunity to her only weakness of lightning just by leveling up. She is so easy to make and get up and like. And if you take the time to level up her magic stat by heading over to the arcade on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. And it's so easy to get her magic maxed out. And it just, like, she can hard carry for the, like, next, like, third of the game. It's so good. It's so much fun. a lot of damage anyway uh sorry <laughs> it kind of went on a interesting uh lowest level persona for this arcana is fortuna not fortune fortuna at level 17 would recommend pretty good social link buka is the priestess social link she's available on june 19th you're going to have to join an art club and get through the first rank of that, like we just talked about, as she is also part of said art club, whichever one you pick. You're also going to need to have Max Courage, and she's going to be available on Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays. This is the first party member that you're able to hang out with in the course of the game. She's also dateable. And the lowest level is level 3 Aspir for Persona. Next up is Yukari, the lover's social link. She's available after July 25th on Monday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. She's going to require Max Charm. Again, another party member, girl, dateable. And her lowest level persona is level two, Pixie. 
Akinari. Ak Akinari is the Sun Social Link. He's available starting September 6th on Sundays exclusively. He's got some of the most complicated requirements to start. For one thing, you're going to need rank three and My Mako, Mako Social Link, uh, the Hangman one. You're also going to need level four academics, and you're also going to need to bring him back his red fountain pen. You can find out that he's missing it before you can start his social link, like about a month beforehand. So starting August 9th, you can talk to him to know that you need the red pen, and then just go talk to Koromaru that same night or any future nights, and he will have the red pen. You don't need to like take him for a walk. If he's got the red pen, he'll just give it to you in the dorm. So you don't need to use up time or anything. And then you'll have to go back to him, you know, on September 6th and give him back his pen and everything. Uh, the lowest level persona for him is level 30 Yadagarasu. And he's my favorite social link of any social link in three, four, and so far persona five. I really like his social link a lot. It's really, really good. And it really, I think, really gets to kind of the core message of what Persona 3 is without, you know, going into spoilers about it. Mamoru, or Mamoru, M-A-M-O-R-U, is the Star Social Link. And he's available starting August 2nd. And he's available every day until rank 9 of the Social Link, after which he's not available on Sundays. Oh, lordy forbid. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, another social link that is available on school holidays. You're going to need level four courage to start his social link proper. However, you will meet him in the course of unavoidable story events around August 2nd. So you're going to be able to find him sitting on a bench over here by Iwato Dai Station. He has the best ultimate persona in the game, Lucifer, which gives you access to the hardest hitting attack in the game, Armageddon, which does a fixed 9,999 damage, which I believe is the damage cap for the game. And he can also be transformed into the ultimate one-handed sword weapon in the game, which is obviously the main character's signature weapon type. The lowest level persona is level 39, Nandi. Mitsuru, my queen, my empress, social link. Uh, she is available on November 21st. And she's available on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. She's also got some pretty high requirements requiring you to have maxed out your academics and ace one of the previous ex three exams. Again, dateable. I go back and forth on whether or not her or I guess his best girl. Um, it's it's pretty close. I've yet to actually finish either of their social links, though. To my great dismay, I got to the end of my first playthrough, and both her and I guess are available really late, especially because of the exam thing. So I was getting to the end of this of the playthrough, and. I didn't have enough time left, like in-game time left, to max out both or either of their social links. And I was so distraught. I was on like rank eight or whatever of Mitsuru's and like rank six or whatever of Igus's. And I wasn't able to finish either. And I was so disappointed because I had been waiting to hang out with Mitsuru the whole time. I was like, this is probably best girl. This is probably best girl. And it just did not happen. <laughs> I was like, no. Uh, I got to make sure I rectify that at uh, my new game plus run at some point. The judgment social link is not really a social link. Uh, it's an evolution of the C social link that kicks off after the pool social link is done. And it's going to rank up by progressing through the last section of Tartarus. The ultimate persona of this arcana is Messiah, the ultimate persona of Fez that they added in this version of the game. 
in the original version of Persona 3, the ultimate Persona is Orpheus Telos, which is only available by maxing out all social links in the game. So it's pretty hard to get on a regular, like, vanilla game without doing New Game Plus. But you can get Messiah pretty easily. And he is a result of the fusion of Thanatos and Orpheus. I guess is the last social link that becomes available in the game, becoming available on January 8th, on Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And after January 25th, she's available on all school days. You're going to really need to focus on her if you want to fish her in time, especially if you want to get her ultimate weapon by fusing up her ultimate, all the ultimate persona of that arcana, turning it into an item and then giving it to her. That's going to take some time. So you're really going to want to focus on her when she becomes available. Ranks 1 to 8 really only require 1 point, so it's relatively quick. But the in-game days are really limited by at, by that point. But also, you've probably gotten through most of the social links you want to get through at that point. So it should be fairly much, a fairly, fairly no-brainer to focus on her. Unless you are an idiot and also didn't get your exams based in time and you are trying to also do Mitsuru and you don't have time for either. Uh, even though she's a girl, not considered a dateable one. Not that it matters too much at that point, but like, yeah, the girls won't get mad at her. Or the other girls won't get mad at you for hanging out with her, so. And she won't get mad at you for hanging out with other girls. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it for all I care. Uh, put a comment down below if you have a question or a topic you'd like me to cover in a future video and I will do my best. You can also ask me questions in the Discord. Discord links in the description. With this, I've pretty much covered everything I want to cover for the life sim aspects. So we'll be getting into the like RPG side of things. For persona 3 soon next one is going to be about personas basic persona guide and then i'm thinking we'll do an advanced like the next video will be a personas 101 guide and then we'll make a personas 102 guide in case you want to go a bit more in depth because it's hard to truncate all of that information into just one video that's under an hour long if you're watching this when this goes live i'm live right now playing persona 5 royal just finished the main game for the first time so we're just doing some cleanup stuff just hanging out a little bit before the holiday weekend break thing and then next month when persona 3 portable comes to steam we'll play that stream all righty i hope you guys have a good day in case I don't see you, hope you have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See ya.